of a biscuits and gravy combo with a small orange juice. Well guys, I don't know if you heard that thud at the end, but I ran into McDonald's. Oh yeah, that's good right there. Oh yeah. Yeah, see that yellow? I ran into McDonald's. I stinking ran into the building, guys. I ran into their little protective pole thing. And if that's how the day's gonna be, we're in for it today. But hopefully it's not, because we're still gonna try to catch some fish. So we're out here, and we're at a public pond, but first, I'm gonna get into my biscuits, cause that's, that's, that's one of the main reasons I even woke up. And when I say public pond, I mean public. Right up there is the main highway. Over there's the water park. Right there's baseball fields. And right over there is a basketball court that all kinds of people goes to. Not to mention the pond that also more people come to. But it is 6.30. And if you look around, there's no one here but me, a bunch of fog, and a little flock of geese which will attack you. They're known to do it at this place. But anyways, I don't know if I told you this already, but I am having two friends come here too, just meet me. This pond is notorious for being awful. If the three of us can catch maybe two fish combined, we're doing a good job. But anyways, it's foggy. They're not here yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw a few casts. We'll see what happens. Gonna start off with the old lucky popper because it's early morning and there's still fog on the water. What else would I start with? Got him. Oh yeah, baby. There he is. A big old bass. Oh yeah. That's what we want right there. A big old bass. Now guys, this is a, this is like a an eight inch bass right here, but it came out of this public pond, which is not so great. So I'm gonna count it as like a six or seven pounder. So. Yeah, nice little six pounder right there. Gotta love it at this public pond, man. Gotta love it. I, did, I thought it was a bluegill whenever it bit the first few times, but you know, apparently not. There we go. They're here. We gotta say, David. I'm gonna get on that early top water bite. Early top water bite with a chatter bait. With a chatter bait. <laughs> what do you say? I say that. Uh, I haven't been asleep yet, so this could be an eventful day for you. But anyways, they're here. Now we're just gonna keep fishing, I guess. Oh, there he is, got him. Yeah, man. And boom, there he is. That's what we want right there. Oh, don't hook me, buddy, don't hook me. And the best part, I wasn't even looking. And he just took it. There we go. There's two for the brickyards on the popper. That's a pig, son. Massive. Toad. Lunker. Gigantor. J -j 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 giant bass. That's what we come for. That's what we come for right there. The sad part is, that's really what we came for. There's nothing else in this pond except bass like that. But I'd rather be catching bass like that. Than none at all? Yeah, than none at all. Hey. There we go. I guess. Green sunfish. Yeah, man. Here's one here, and there's one way over there. We doubled up. There he is. Yeah. This one's not too awfully short. Ah, yeah it is. Woo! There we go. Yeah, it's pretty good brickyards fish. Hey, I'm gonna need you to take my picture on this, man. Celebrate the yards. <laughs> there we go. Ooh! Bet I gave him a headache. Oh, yeah. Dropped him right on some riprap. 
Ah, oh, he still thinks he's. Get right back in there on him. See if I can get him. He came up and hit it twice because he thought he is still there. It's just a bubble though. He should be still there. I didn't hook him at all. He didn't feel the hooks. I'll tell you a fact, all right? That catfish stinks. And that's what you get when you come to a big pond where everybody fishes is, you know, sometimes they just die like that. I can't say that's the first one I've saw or the 34th one I've saw. Can't beat the smell of the brickyards, baby. Dead fish all day, all day. Another one right here. This one ain't too bad either. He may take, he's taking drag. Well, dang, I might have a good one on right here. Let's pull him up right here. Pretty decent one right there, pretty decent one. Ugh. There we go. Chunky little bass, chunky little bass. Right under a duck. I saw a duck, I cast it to the duck, and then I caught a fish. There we go, nice little brickyard's bass. <laughs> it's untelling what all's dead in here. As the weed eater goes strong over there, you know what triggered this thing to bite? So there's a dead chicken, right? I just drug my hook across it and got a chicken feather on it. It's golden. That's a chicken. But yeah, that is a chicken. No doubt a chicken. You know what the best part about it is? There's another one like 10 feet over that way. So we don't know what's happened. We don't want to know what's happened. But it just goes to show, you never know what you're going to find at an old public pond. Oh, at the brickyards, baby, the brickyards. Everybody's waking up now. The sun's coming up. Everybody's starting to walk, starting to fish. Weed eat. Starting to weed eat. Good mowing, everything. But anyways, yeah, we're going to keep fishing. Look here. Look here. This is, this is the LeBron James of bass right here. He can jump. Jump right up in my hand. There you go. That's good enough though. There he is. Stay down my friend. No. Mmm, mmm. Be still, Bubba. Yeah, he is a decent one. I hooked him funny. All right, if you want to, do whatever you want, buddy. What should it, What should we name him? Let's name this and Devin. That's Devin. And for you people who don't know, that's Devin too. That's Devin one. That was Devin two. But that is Devin also. Yes. We have moved locations. Pond hopping 2017 is in action we've hit the first pond good success second pond we don't know yet and third pond we don't know yet but all right we may skip this pond it's looking sketchy pond number two was a bust now we're heading on to number three should be okay it looks good yeah you got him right there you got him dude get him in get him in that's a good one it's a good one dude well i don't know about a good one but he's a fish Flip him up here. There we go. There we go. What kind of color is that? What kind of worm? Couldn't tell you, Fall colored brush out. So he took it and we just saw the line taking off, didn't we? Oh yeah. There you go. There he is. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. There we go. There we go. Right in that brush. Right in that brush. Boom. There he is. Right there in the top of the mill, mouth. Boom. 
Guys, this video started in the car and it's gonna end with the car. Back to my little uh, McDonald's accident. You know, I mean, it's got big yellow streaks on it, but I got a sponge and hopefully we can take care of that. Let's see. Huh. It ain't done too good. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. It's all right. It's all right. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. There we go. It's coming off. It's coming off real nice. Today's post notification shout outs goes to Amanda Leonhard. And if you guys want to get shouted out like this, just go turn on the bell, the notifications. When my next video pops up, click on it. Get up there early. Comment your name and notification squad. And boom, you're in. And the next one. David Marino. Oh yeah, it came off real good. But anyways, as for the fishing, we done amazingly good. That pond, I'm willing to bet it's one of the worst ponds in like America, guys. There's so many dead fish in there, so much fishing line, so much just junk in there. It is a public pond, but it's sort of more like a public garbage can. We found bottles, cans, wrappers, everything. We got fishing line. We found fishing line for days, man. I mean, half the time you get hung up, you wouldn't even be on a rock or a stump. You'd be on fishing line. Not to mention, we found a chicken in the pond. There's no houses around the pond with chickens but yet we found a headless chicken in the pond. If that don't tell you what kind of place it is, I don't know what will. But anyways, we did catch a lot of fish. Anybody who knows that pond knows it's not a good pond. Last night, I contacted them like, hey, let's go pond hop. And they's like, sure, yeah, where at? I said, the brickyards, the public pond. They's like, huh, no, for real, where are we going? I said, let's go there. And I mean, for real, that place has not been good to anybody. It's really hard to catch fish, mainly because it's right in town and everybody who owns a fishing pole fishes there but for some unknown reason i had so much confidence last night i was like i know i can go there and catch fish i just know i can i don't know why it's probably bad confidence but nevertheless we did go out there and we did catch fish just like i expected it's i was a little surprised once i caught about the third fish and fourth fish but after then i just kept on catching them i ended up with eight i'm not sure how many they caught but anyways i'll see you later